You want to know the beauty of pants? That you really only need one, two, maybe three pants in your wardrobe. And if you have enough tops, you can build entire outfits for the rest of the year. But you need the right pants. Where most guys screw up is that they wear one of these five pants that are either out of style, look bad, or just you should just get rid of. Today, boys, I'm going to show you the five pants I believe men need to get rid of. Let's hop into it. Number one, let's start with one that I myself have been a victim to, and it's skinny or even tight fit jeans. See, I've never been a fan of skinny jeans, but even jeans that are very tight on the ankle, I used to love these. I, bro, I would say like 90% of my closet was that, but recently, I'm not going to lie to you, I picked up a pair of dad jeans. And it's not because I'm a dad, but because, you know what? I was like, you know, I need to be a practitioner of my own tips, and I need to try something before I knock it. Boys, I tried it, and I am a believer. When you wear that loose-cut denim, you're never going to go back. It's more comfortable. It's not as constricting. You look on trend. Boys, I want you to go right now and pick up yourself a pair of loose-cut denim, one of those dad jeans. Throw it on and just feel how good you're going to look, how stylish you're going to look, and also how comfortable. Boys, it's time to let your own boys breathe. Skinny cut jeans, I gotta go. Number two, I don't know if this is a pet peeve of mine, which it probably is, because this entire video is my opinion, but it is those joggers with the thick ankle cuff. They came in around like 2008, 2010. It's crazy to think about that a decade later, people are still buying and wearing these. Yo, these are completely out of style, and it kind of looks disproportionate how tight they are at the bottom. Look, if you want that tight look, go with the looser cut sweatpant. Again, kind of like the jeans, it's going to be more comfortable. It's also in trend, and more importantly, if you want that tight at the bottom, go for that classic scrunch. In my opinion, it's just more aesthetic, more comfortable, and it looks better. Number three, pants that sag. Boys, you look immature, you look childish, and it really doesn't look better. If you've seen any of my women experiments, when I bring in women to judge men, you'll notice that I would say 90% of the time, women are always checking out a guy's butt. And I've been warning you about this for years. When you sag, you look like you got diaper butt. You look like a child. You want to throw those jeans all the way up and show the junk that you're working with. This is why with our new Essentials Cargos, where are they? Bro. This new collection for Essentials dropping June 5 is going to change the game. Our new cargos, just let's take a minute to appreciate how good they look. You see that? You see that fit? Boys, I work endlessly designing every single piece with intent because all the tips that I teach you, I pretty much implement it into my collections. I want clothing that when you wear, you look better, you feel better. That's these. See, these new technical cargos not only are crazy comfortable for summer, but they're completely adjustable. See, they come with the buckle and the waist. That way, you can adjust them properly to any waist. Whether you're overweight, skinny, middle, doesn't matter what body type you have, these pants are made to fit every dude with that adjustable buckle. And the cool part is, you just have to unclip it and take them off easily. We also have an adjustable bottom. See, if you want that loose, oversized fit, you can leave it unadjusted. But if you want to show off the sneaker game, that maybe you got some crispy new Air Force Ones you want to show off, you can easily cinch it for a more tailored look. Yo, these are fully adjustable. They flow and work with you all summer. And this is why this collection, June 5th, is the hardest, best collection we've ever done, boys. Yo, I went to Peru to shoot this campaign. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you need to go watch my latest highlights. When I tell you we almost died, this is not... I'm not even over exaggerating. We had a team about eight, I believe, up in that mountain. We could not breathe. 18,000 feet elevation. I have the nastiest sunburn. I don't know if you can tell from video. This is the nastiest sunburn I've ever had. The sun up there was blazing, but it was also cold. So it was the weirdest thing. Boys, what I'm trying to tell you is that we went hard with this collection. The color palette is to reflect the rainbow mountain in Peru. These colors are the most unique colors you'll ever find. I've never seen any other brand do this. And on top of that, the collection itself goes hard. Those cargos are dropping June 5th, and I guarantee you they're probably going to fly because of how good they fit. And we even upgraded the women's collection. So I want you to help your boy out. If you got a sister, a girlfriend, or a girl in your life, hook them up with some essentials because they need to look good too. Now you both can be 20. This June 5th, boys, I'm telling you, this is the best we've ever done. I don't want you to miss it. So grab your phone, put a reminder, June 5th, 10 a.m. Eastern. I want you to be one of the first ones there because you already know all the popular colors and pieces, they fly within the first hour. I don't want you to miss it. Number four, shorts that go past your knee. Because again, very similar to showing your trunk, showing the quads, yo, those are an 
asset. You don't understand. Women look at this stuff, and automatically, when they see those power quads, they're going to think that's an athletic dude. When you wear shorts past your knee, you're hiding all the goods. This is why, again, check out our essential shorts. Bro, our new sweat shorts, because as you know, gray sweats. This is like a must thirst strap staple in every dude's closet. Well, you're going to want to evolve into gray sweat shorts when we go into summer. So we dropped those, but we made them in the perfect fit. See, I made them so they're still comfortable and loose. That way they're not constricting and too tight, but they sit about two to three inches above the knee. This is strategic. See, when you're walking, when you're sitting, your quad muscles are going to be flexing and you're going to be showing off your gains, making you look better. And finally, number five, pants with loud prints. See, yes, there can be a time and a place for those type of pants, but for the most part, these loud, like ostentatious pants, they lack versatility. If you remember in the beginning of the video, I told you if you are strategic with it, if you get those two to three good pair of pants, that's all you're gonna need. But if you make one of those three pairs a loud printed pair of pants, you're gonna kill all the versatility that you need to build that versatile wardrobe so you can look good every day of the year. So yes, those do have a time and a place, but I want you to start with your basics first. So my recommendation, go with the neutrals, your black, your navy, your khakis. These are colors that you can wear nonstop all year and build that versatile wardrobe. After that, go for your Glenn Plaid or Crazy Prince or Crazy Patrick. Just remember your older brother Jose already warned you. They're going to be tough to pull off. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. Those are five pants that you need to get rid of in your closet and instead replace them with what I showed you so you can look stylish. That's it for me today. See you next time.